I don't know whether the lights gonna get paid or not. I don't know if they're gonna come take my white car or not. But God, you got me out of here, baby. And I need you to show up. Uh, I didn't call myself, you called me. Mm. I trust you though. Woo. You know, walk with me this long, and I don't know what else to do but to trust on you. So I gotta trust you now, God. Like me about to get cut off, my family ready to leave me. I lost my job, and I'm out here now, God. What are you gonna do now? Folk talking bad about what you gonna do. That's the way you are. But you think leadership is easy for one second, bro. <clears throat> Moses didn't know what to do. And there's going to be times when you're in that building where you ain't going to know what to do. But this is God's way. Lord, have mercy. I feel like preaching right now. Come on, Come on. This is God's way of assuring my mind. I need somebody to help me preach. <laughs> somebody just help me preach. It. Just touch somebody and say, when I get to my land. When I get to my land. That's God's opportunity. That's God's opportunity. To show up. To show up. Uh, God is a God that will wait till you on your last. Wait till you ain't got number one prayer left. Oh, show up like you never showed up before. Amen. Moses was right there and know what to do. That the, the past was closing in on them cases. And yeah, he said, God, what can I do now? What? Right. Anybody ever been to the place where you had to ask God what to do now? Yes. Uh, yes. You said, what can I do now? What can I do now? And you're going to get to that place. Mm -hmm. God got to show up for you. Boy, boy. Hey, can't worry about who coming. Hey. Tell you something, brother. I ain't just getting to have nobody in. Tell you something. Mm -hmm. Folk that you think going to be with you? Uh huh. Preacher, God. Uh huh. Tell it. Preacher. Get ready for your heart to feel like it's going to fall out your chest. Say so. Say so. That's right. Folk that promise you, they're going to drop you on your head when I bump on your stuff like me. <laughs> Folk that you trust, you're going to lose trust. Folk that you don't help, they ain't going to help you. And sometimes I've learned this and I told them, I told, uh, 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 what that boy, uh, Pastor Barris, I told him the other day, I said, sometimes God allows people to leave you alone. My God. Yes. Somebody know I'm preaching. Yes. Right. But sometimes God allows people to leave you alone. And you ask God why, and the reason is because God didn't want you to be had to deal with them anyway. Yes. He wanted you to know yes. that you didn't need nobody to get where you are. Because if they ever help you, they will be trying to throw it back in your face. Yeah. Remember what I did for you? Remember how I put gas in your car? But God said, what I want to do, I'm going to do stuff to let you rely on me yeah. and not folk. Yeah. It's going to be God in you. Somebody say God in me. God in me. It's going to be only God in you. Amen. You got to form a relationship with God that your wife can't break. Yes. You got to form a relationship with God that your children can't break. Yeah. Uh, ah, I know I'm talking. Yes. Abraham had it. God said, I'm up Isaac. He said, yes, sir. It's going to be God in you. God in you. That's it. The 
just sit. No more distraction. No. And if you fall, you're going to hurt God. And God will strip you of your anointing. And what you have to realize is this. What is more valuable than my anointing? <laughs> what is more valuable than God having his hand on my life? What, what is? What is? What girl is worth God taking his hand off me? What kind of money is worth God taking his hand off of me? What kind of addiction is God worth God taking his 